Well, we know that recovery capabilities are far easier as a as a young lad. Um, all that testosterone um, is somewhat is, is, is found somewhat wanting as we get into past you know into our thirties. Or oh, unless you know, like you're doping, like pure in boxing. <laughs> but we'll not go there for this call. We'll do that on another one. Um, that would have been an interesting does, one. <laughs> yeah, it would. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think um, does your rehydration strategy change as you age? Yeah, it, it can do. Um, but also, like we know that you're probably not training as, as hard as what a, a, a early mid, well to a mid twenties bloke or even a, a late twenties fighter would be. Um, so it's about understanding what hydration really is and what rehydration really is, and listening to your body and giving your body back what it really needs. If you're weighing yourself before you train, and after training you've dropped two and a half, three kilos you need to put some serious fluid back in and that's going to require some electrolytes as well to help, you know, facilitate that rehydration. I think if you're training and you're getting a real sweat on, I don't think there's any harm in using uh, rehydration salts, like, you know, electrolytes. And so, yeah, I think having some sort of strategy uh, is, is, is helpful. But again, it comes back to the focus on the prehydrate, you know, first thing in the morning, we should start with water, hydration, you know, it's not a bad thing if you've got an early morning training session to take some electrolytes because we know that we lose a lot of water through the night, get back to that hydrated state before we even start training. If we're always playing catch up, then are we ever performing optimally? And that's something that I say, you know, I have a a, a, a little thing with, with the fighters. It's, um, you know, it's a three, two, one go system. So three hours before bed is your last meal. Two hours before bed, no more liquids, an hour before bed, no more blue light to get off your phone. And first thing in the morning is go with your hydration, start with prehydration straight away because you're already dehydrated. So that's kind of like my thing. And it's the same that goes for the training. You know, have the same sort of system. If you're training hard, think about, am I going into that training session hydrated? Put back in what you've lost and you won't go far wrong.